FJD Tron S1.
So now I have, can download the 3D scan file directly into my uh, phones. I can either download the raw files and the pre-made files. I click on download and it will uh, download to my uh, phones. Uh, this scan is 327 megabytes and you can remap. You see this function? You can remap the point cloud a SLAM algorithm within the scanner. It has an integrated computer inside. So if I click on remap, it will remap. Everything takes about uh, 15 minutes for this scan, I think. And I can also continue the scanning from the last point that I scanned. Right? And I can also... Um, uh, this scan is uh, 7 minutes and 329 meters. And I can also... Um, uh, it's a preview is not very good with the Android. But I think it's better with the iPhone. So you can uh, preview um, the scan data in your phones. Right? And not very nice, but um, it looks fine. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the scanner. And uh, the new one is S2. I browse the files from the scanner and then I click on the scan scene, uh, which is uh, mostly is indoor. And I choose a mapping range to just um, 40 meters because I don't want to map the building that is too far away. I click on OK. Now it starts to uh, process. Use all of the CPU cores. Uh, 11 gigs of RAM, not much. And some of the GPU. Okay, it's a result from Fidetron S1. Uh, 43.9 million points. I'm going to trim it because uh, it's too big, the area that I need. So I'm going to trim it uh, for just this area. Keep uh, inside, delete the outside. Okay, now let's trim. You can see here that uh, the result is very clean. And if I um, do a clipping box, okay, this is the floor plan. It's cloud floor plan. It's really clean. The wall is really thin. So, and if I move it, the section, okay, is the location where I need to put on the, the new canopy. Okay, I can clearly see the floor. I'm going to attach the new canopy to the floor slab and some structure here, in which I can see it really clear. I've done this before with the FJD Trinus one for the chopping mall additional canopy structure. Uh, even larger than this, it um, the clear length for a tensile structure is very small, um, plus or minus uh, three or four centimeters only. So if um, if the survey result is wrong, uh, the structure that I prefabricated from the factory uh, will not fit. So it's very important for me to get uh, a very high accurate result. I've been uh, using the Trinus one for many of my projects in the past two years. Never have an issue. So, okay, this is the third floor. The third floor slab. If I look from the top view, yeah, okay. It's very um, visible. See the, the floor lines. See here, it's quite uh, thin and it's um, distinguishable so I can use it for reversing in CAD for the fixing point and if you look at the parallelness of the floor see um, third floor and second floor is all parallel uh, this is um, not too difficult to scan because uh, the walkway is wide it's chopping mall so the walkway is wider than usual and we have all the parallel floors Okay, so I will export this uh, 3D scan from uh, FJD Trinus 1. I will use it for making a structural model. I export it for the LAS format. Here's an Autodex recap. I'm going to uh, convert the files from LAS to RCP, which is uh, recognizable by the Autodex products. Okay, and then I'm going to drop the LAS files here. 
Okay, here's the files. Just click on save. Here's in AutoCAD. I will bring in uh, the Point Cloud. Click on insert, attach. Select the RCP files, click open. Put it on origin point. Okay, now the whole building is here. But the Point Cloud is a bit uh, bigger than uh, you need to. So I will uh, make it a little bit smaller. Now it's smaller. Okay. And the area that I'm going to use will be uh, on the third floor slab and to the ground floor. So I'm going to uh, make a rectangular crop like this and keep all the insides. Okay. I will use it just for this area and I can also uh, uh, make it a little denser. Right. So next I'm going to uh, create a new layer called um, Point Cloud. I'm going to keep keep all the point cloud into this uh, layer and then I'm going to create a layer this would be my structural layer so I'm going to um, I'm going to do a bo box crop one more time just needs this part okay so I'm going to uh, okay so I will start to create a fixing point And I can also convert the structural fabric that I made into the point cloud and put it back into the 3D scan files. And I can use it for presenting the customer directly without making a drawing of the building. Okay, here's my use of the FGD Tron S1 for creating the canopies for a shopping mall. I've done this uh, before, with, especially with this uh, shopping mall. They are my uh, regular customer. Okay, thanks you guys for watching. i see you in the next video.